Hey everybody, it's Marnie from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well today. It is Monday. I hope you guys had a fabulous weekend. Yeah, back to the grind, right? Well, let's start it off right. And I have three canvases here from Pam's that I'm trying to show you. If you guys have not taken, you know, a little trip on over to Pam's website, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you do. And keep your eyes open. Sign up for emails. Go on to their um, her Facebook group. There are some amazing things coming down the pipeline. Let me tell you. So you just have to you just have to go there and see. They have so much stuff, so much for every everybody's taste. I'm I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So we have three right here. And when I tell you that I am in a pop culture um, heaven right now. I totally am. If you guys have not been following me that long, um, let me tell you, I love anything about the 80s or anything pop culture related. Um, it just fills my little heart up with so much joy and I'm all about that nostalgia. So whenever um, you order, Pam always includes a nice little note. So let's take a gander at what she has sent me said this time. So always, these are nice. These must be new. A thank you right here. Aw. And she included some little gifties. Uh, make it a great day, Marina. Thank you for your order and your continued support. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoy your canvases, Pam. And then she gave me a little, a little coupon code right there. But what did she send? We've got some stickers. So we've got this cool snail with a skull shell. We've got a cute little gnome. Everything will be okay. Keep up the good work. A little faith sticker there. Um, and then don't believe the hype, believe the, believe in unicorns. So very, very cool. And then it looks like we've got some cute little cover minders right here. So cover minders are just cute little things like this and they have two magnets and they help um, hold your canvas back while you diamond paint. So I th I don't know if these are ones she's making herself, but we got a little owl and we got a little flower and a heart and a little little lady right here. So thank you so much for those, Pam. Um, I also want to go and say that her team, Mich uh, Michelle is with part of her team and both of them have been doing an amazing job. So these did come in a very sturdy shipping box. Um, but I took them out because one, there was a lot of tape and my address on there and you guys don't need to see where I live. And then it comes wrapped in paper and then your canvases come wrapped around your drills. Now, sometimes they come in their own plastic dust bags. Um, it's neither here nor there for me as far as preference, but let us, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Oh, okay, here we go. Because they are all different sizes, so I'm going to just unroll them like this so they can lay flat. Now, I don't know if I put this on there, but I do believe in the notes that you can put on there uh, that you do not want any toolkits. So I can't remember um, if I did or not, but you get a toolkit with each one and then they all come with, you know, tweezers, a pen, a roll of washi, some baggies, wax, everything you need to diamond paint. Very, very nice toolkits. All right, so let me get these out of the way. Oh my goodness. All right. So I guess we will start with this top one. And I hope you guys are ready. This one is everything. This is Morticia with Clasps Clasp hands by Boana Devil Art. They are a husband and wife team and they have the best for me horror pop culture art. I am obsessed with their art. So right up at the top you've got your size. It's a 60 by 80. So I got a round this time with a B. You have a legend in your upper left, one in your 
your upper right and one in your lower left. And it looks like there is 45 colors and it looks like one, two, three, four special drills in here. I do do believe that they those are the ABs, but we have, you know, this is their, you know, fan art of Morticia Adams from the Adams family. So we have her, this beautiful focal point right here. We've got the house in the background, the cemetery. It looks like a little part of the walkway, some trees, baths, a full moon. And really, honestly, you guys, this does not look confetti heavy at all. It looks like it'll work up very, very quickly. But look, I mean, her face is just absolutely stunning. Um, the Bologna Devil Art is probably gonna be my favorite artist um, that they license. And I'm like obsessed. I am literally, ooh, and I just kicked you guys. I'm so sorry. So let me zoom in so you guys can see a little closer. I mean, come on. And then that beautiful neckline right there. So let me find the drills for this one. Here are the drills right here. They do come pre-bagged. So let's take a look inside because they do come with an inventory. So I'd be very careful. Now, look how flat it's laying already too. The canvas is the soft back. We've got poked and scalped edges right here. Um, and it's like that nylon -y on the um, front but it shows that it is legally licensed down here with the artist and the title. All of the art at Pam's is legally licensed. So, sorry for the thing, but I'm going to get out. So you do get a sticker sheet. Um, like I said, I really wish that the company would make this um, Whoever does the sticker sheet, please to make the thumbnail larger. But here we have it. It shows your DMC, your symbol, um, how many how many drills of that color, and then like the bags. That must be like the weight, I would think. But yeah, so you can use that sticker right there for your logbook. This is all a sticker sheet, so you can just cut out for your individual labels. But I do like the inventory. So... We do have some, some really pretty colors in here. It is not all black. But we've got a big old bag of 209. And you guys, look at this bag of 939 right here. It is freaking ginormous. Now, if you're not team baggy, you can go ahead and cut these out and put them on your containers. So if you're not a fan of working out of baggies. So you guys, that's it for the 310. That is it right here. And we have a little bit of 3804 here. I'm going to call it these ABs. 819, gorgeous. So here's another AB. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. I know you guys like to see the colors. So we have 600. Let me zoom out because it seems like they're getting blurry. So we have 600 right here, 415, 550, 318, 316, a little bit of 3807, 336, that blue, and 823, 498, 554, a little bit of 604, 414, 3024, 552, 3806, 3746, 211, 160, 798, that's pretty. 340, 892, 915. You guys, like by looking at this, could you think that all these colors were in here? Oops. 453, 602, 3861, 891, 718, 6, 
9.30. That must go like in the tree somewhere. 3865, we got that off white, and then the 3805. 603, 792. 553, and 894. Now that is all the colors for, let me put these big bags in here, for our regular drills. But we still have trying to do this as quickly as possible. We still have the four ABs to look at and to see where they're going to go. So I'm trying to put these back in here as neatly as possible. And I just don't want to stop and start, you guys, and stop and start because I'm almost done. Maybe I will for the other one, but... I know that some of you, some people have reached out saying that they really want to see... Um, colors and I'm trying to be more mindful of that so for the rest of you I hope that you don't mind me putting it away like that all right so here are ABs we have this big fat bag of 5200 like gorgeous right we have a bag of 820 210 and then 666 right so these are the symbols and they're down at the bottom right here so it looks like we've kind of got the pi sign, an equal sign, the plus sign, and then a lowercase h right here. I know it's kind of hard to see in the camera. So I am going to do my best. I'm going to stick this in here so I don't lose it. And then I'm going to move these over here. So the plus sign. All right. So there's the plus sign highlighting part of her lips. A couple up here is in her hair, is in the trees. So whenever you see kind of these white areas around here, that is where that 5200 is going to go. Now, um, I don't mind it. It looks like it's just for some accents. So I'm really okay with that. You guys, this entire border, except for the very top line. Let's see if you can see this. So minus this top line right below the purple the three, the first four lines all around this border is all that AB. So that is going to be stunning for sure. Let's see. 820 is the pie sign. You guys, that might be a little more difficult for me to find because this is very dark and I need a light pad. Um, the equal sign, it, that's that 666. Um, that's probably going to be somewhere back in this area there isn't very much so it's probably going to be like an accent i'm not seeing any over here so most likely it's going to be somewhere over here with the lighter red the lowercase h is that purple and you know there's only a little bit of that as well so that's probably going to be um an accent Now, I am actually a fan of the artists right here. It's like almost like they signed it. Um, I like it. I wish it was just all one color, but we are going to see how it plays out. I'm going to trust the process, right? Um, I do apologize that I can't find any of these other little colors, but hopefully I will soon. So I am going to stick these back in here, and it's going to be... And let me just uh, pull this back up. Bear with me, please. And that's what we have right there. All right, are you guys ready for the second one? I'm gonna flip this back over and I'm gonna put these other ones because I'm gonna save Now, this next artist is a near and dear to my heart. She was a recent, uh, you know, she used to be licensed with another company. They're no longer working together. And I am beyond ecstatic that she is now with Pam. And that is whew, Lizzie Falcon. Now, I'm a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan. And 
who could pass this one up? Now, this one, I am very, very, very interested to see how it is going to plan out. It is only a 60 by 60. I'm glad it's a smaller size. Um, it has a much larger focal points. I think they're going to come out absolutely amazing. Again, our legends. And this is Nightmare by Lizzie Falcon of Lizzie Falcon Art. Um, exclusive, I believe, to Pam now. No, I take that back. Strike that. No, certain images are. Um, but she she got her after the other company. She used to be with Treasure Studios Art. They are no longer working together. So I am beyond ecstatic that they are with Pam. So, of course, we have our Jack Skellington moon right here and Sally sitting in the moon. You can see, you know, his head starts here and here's Jack's face. And then the rest of the moon is his body and she's kind of sitting in the moon. And I'm like really love how Lizzie Falcon does all of her girls. They are like, they do not have like a skin color. They're all the same because they are just women. I love the scar right here. And the look, she always has a, an, one eye usually covering them. And the stitching all through her. Um, yeah, this one is going to be something else, I believe. It's going to be very, very something else for me. These are going to be like little sections, I'm telling you. Super little sections. So here are our drills right here, you guys. There are 45 colors in here. And there is, again, one, two, three, four. Um, and this one I got in a square. So there's a four ABs again in this one. Now this color palette is not going to be as exciting. I'm not going to show this one as much. I am going to pull out the ABs because this video is already going to be long. But you guys, there are some blues. There are some burgundies, but they're very, very neutral colors. So if you are not into the more neutrals and browns, and blacks, this color palette, you know, this kit might not be for you, but let me get out the inventory and find these special drills for you. I will show some of them. They won't get upset, but I don't want anybody to get upset. Like, look, again, big old bag of 939. Big old bag of 317. You know, we do have some bright colors right here, 552. That'll go in her dress for sure. You know, we've got the teal. So that's really going to make those other colors pop. So right here, these are not, let's see. I don't think that these are ABs. I think they're her, um, the dust ones, the glitter dust ones. I forgot exactly what Pam calls them, but here is the inventory right here. And then our thumbnail. And 10. Okay, I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna find these. All right, so I am back and I did find them, but I did decide to pull these out just so you guys could see them. I don't wanna like uh, read them all off, but I'm gonna show them to you and talk a little bit about them as I put them away. So, you know, we do have a, lots of these orange and browns, these like fall like colors, a big bag of $7.91, which is very different for me. I'm not used to having like that much. We do have a large bags right here of $8.38, the brown, and then the $3.072. Then we have two big bags of $9.39, you guys. I don't think that there's any, um, there's no 310 at all in this kit. So, kit, so that is actually really really cool and interesting it's going to give you a really nice look we have some other large bags of more browns and grays right here and then this 317 more in the gray greens and browns and now we're starting to you know well, let me get the rest of these grays and browns, lots of those. Okay. But now we've gotten into these burgundies and pinks and maroons. We've got some different purples right here. 
more browns and kind of taupey colors, orange. Now we have some more turquoises. We have some off-white. 958, that really stands out when you've got these more neutral colors like that. And that didn't really work out too well. All right, so these are not ABs. These are like the glitter dust. So they have like a mica, mica powder in them. So they give more of a shimmery effect. But we have this 775, 712, 907, that got that chartreuse. And last but not least, we have that really pale yellow right here. You can really see it on the yellow. So I hope that shows up, you know, in camera. So instead of having like that bedazzly look to it, you know, like an AB does, um, it's gonna have more of a shimmery, a more of a subtle like twinkle. What do you call them twinkle dust? I can't even remember. Oh my goodness, this is such a mess. Okay, so let's see where they go. Let me zoom in real quick. So it looks like we have like an arrow pointing to the left, a U-turn, a check mark, and a dot. So we have some check marks in the eyes, check marks along here, around the outline of Sally right here. Um, let me zoom out so you guys can kind of see. Um, where will that shard? Okay, so there are going to be speckles of that chartreuse throughout her right here. But I want to see where is that dot? There's a lot of check marks all through here. And through here, there's also some dots. So everything is going to be sprinkled throughout this canvas. I don't think there's going to be like one section that it's just a focusing. Um, I really think those little pops of green though are really gonna look absolutely amazing. So you guys, this is Nightmare by Lizzie Falcon. It's a 60 by 60 centimeter square with four twinkle dust. All right, I am gonna pause the camera, get everything ready, and we are going to look at the very last one, my favorite one, the one I am saving to show you. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and that took way too long. So let's see where the APs go. And I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in. So we have for 963, we have the arrow that points to the left, and that is up in her chest right here. Um, I'm glad I don't see any in her face because I'm not a fan of the APs in her face. I really hope it's light enough to where she doesn't come across like very, very pink. Um, 907 is the U-turn symbol, and then 704 is the dot. So there's going to be those two ABs right here and kind of highlighting on Jareth's sleeve. Um, and then there's going to be some right here in his little crystal ball. Um, we're going to have a check mark for 818. And that is the, I think it's more of that blush, that lighter pink. So there's, uh, those are going to be sprinkled throughout. And then... Um, the last one is 445, which is that yellow, and it's the music, it's like the music notes. And let's see where the music notes are going to go. I am not seeing the music notes. I'm probably blocking you guys too, but I promise I'll get out of the way. I know they're somewhere. Okay, so there, the music notes, that yellow is gonna be like highlights throughout Jareth's hair. So what do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? Like, Pam, keep keep the Bawana art coming. Keep the Bawana Devil art coming, I'm telling you. It is just absolutely amazing. What do you guys think? Have you tried it out yet? I'm telling you, like, she also has a YouTube channel. I will also link that below as well. You guys, I'm telling you, if you haven't, just go and peek. She has, like, thousands of images. There's literally something for everybody. But my friends, that is all I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video of my unboxing from Pam's Diamond Art. Which one should I work on first? Like, I'm really torn. Really, really, really torn. All right, well, other than that, I am gonna let you go and get out of your hair. Like I said, everything will be linked below. So um, please like and share. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. So until next time, my friends, remember to be safe and be kind. Bye.